Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles and welcome to Blender for Noobs. And welcome to this course, Blender 3D Modeling for Beginners. In this 10-part course, we are going to be looking at a number of modeling concepts to help fast track you on your way to learning how to model in Blender 3D. And along the way, as we go through some of our examples in modeling, I'll be throwing in a lot of little tips on how to use the tools in Blender to more effectively create your 3D models. So who should take this course? Well, if you've used Blender a little bit, if you're familiar with the Blender interface, and you're starting to get it into the point where you want to do some modeling, maybe you've done some basic modeling and you have questions, um, this is probably for you if you're a beginner. I would say as a prerequisite for this course, you probably need to know the interface fairly well. That is, as far as opening up Blender, uh, being able to move objects around basically, and just have a basic understanding of the interface. Now if you do need to go back and start from the beginning, I do have a beginner's course on Curious.com. It's called Blender 3D for Beginners. In that course, I cover the interface and how to manipulate, do some basic textures, lighting, a lot of information that will cover the basics for you so you can get up to speed in Blender. So here's what we're going to be looking at in this course, Blender 3D Modeling for Beginners. In part two of this course, Understanding 3D Modeling, we're going to be looking at a few things that uh, nobody ever really talks about when um, you know you go out and look at tutorials on modeling you might learn how to make something but there is a basic understanding of 3d modeling that should help you as you move along in learning uh, your modeling techniques and that is the different types of 3d modeling uh, su such as polygonal modeling edge modeling uh, using nerves and curves things like that we'll look at a few examples of that plus we also have separate uh, parts of this course that will cover specifically those things or those types of modeling. We'll also be looking at the actual geometry that makes up a model so you'll have that basic uh, foundation, that basic building block of understanding moving forward and creating your 3D models. In part three, manipulating 3D objects, we'll start to model a fairly simple object so that you can get familiar with the different ways of manipulating objects in a 3D workspace. We'll use this object that we're modeling in order to do some basic but very essential operations as far as um, things like rotating, scaling, moving, and extruding in your 3D workspace. And then in part four, how to model a pyramid. We'll use the pyramid model as a way of practicing one of the types of modeling that we talk about, and that's the polygonal type modeling. So not only will we be creating a basic pyramid, We'll also be using different techniques in order to create our pyramid. In part five, how to model a technical drawing. We'll model a fairly simple technical drawing so you can gain understanding of some of the more advanced modeling features to build on what we learned in the previous lesson. In part six, how to model using edge or contour modeling. We're gonna use a fairly simple car background so that we can practice the edge or contour modeling technique. And then in part seven, NURBS in Bezier curve modeling, we'll get a basic understanding of curve modeling using a few simple examples. Part eight, understanding modifiers in Blender 3D. We'll go through a number of the modifiers available in Blender and create some examples on objects so that we can see what they do to the objects and also get an understanding of how and why they make so, things so much easier in Blender. In part nine, subdivision and smoothing. This is another essential uh, kind of understanding that is needed when, you, when you're working with your modeling work, but it's not really ever talked about. It's just something that if you're watching a tutorial, somebody will do it and you start maybe to kind of understand what it's doing. But with this lesson, we'll be looking at the differences between smoothing an object, shade smoothing, and using the subdivision surface modifier when working with your modeling. And in part 10, creating a simple house plan, which is the final lesson of this course, we're going to be looking at taking a fairly simple floor plan of a house and using that image in order to create the floor plan in Blender while bringing most of the concepts that we've learned throughout the course together in order to create a basic house, which is going to include 
the walls, doors, roof, and windows. So if you're ready to move forward with Blender 3D modeling for beginners, up next is part two, understanding 3D modeling.